There you go. Hey guys, you gotta check this out. This is awesome. Let's go. Holler at your boy. Right? Yeah? It's all Gucci. Wow, just wow. It's hard. I don't know. Hi, Miss Hardigan. Hey, how are you? So tell us a little bit about FPS and what you do in that class. So FPS is short for Future Problem Solving, and we try our best to solve future problems. So we'll analyze uh, hypothetical future situations, and we'll brainstorm a bunch of potential solutions and develop an action plan, and um, try our best to change the future. What's one word you would use to describe your class? This year, rowdy? Um, no, the class itself. Innovative, creative, fun. So what's your favorite part of your teaching day? Um, okay, what's the least favorite part of your day then? The ear pods or the eye buds or the eye, whatever you call them. The things in the ears with the music and the phones because I can't get people to get rid of them and I'm always like, Sam, Kyle, everybody take out your ear pods, listen to me, I need to know, let me see your eyeballs, let me know that you know what's going on and instead they're just like, Doo -doo 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 what? Uh, I've got this thing in my ear and I don't know what to do with it because what do I do? What's a plug? I don't know because I've got this thing in my ear all the time. That's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Hola señora. Hola. ¿Cómo es su estilo de enseñar? Mi estilo de enseñar es muy simple. Uh, yo encuentro que los recursos auténticos en una clase de español es el libro de texto necesario para uno, para uno aprender el idioma, la cultura, las palabras. ¿Me? Sí. Sí, claro. Sí. Chicos, ¿quién va a bailar? Obviamente la gramática son parte únicos que usamos en el Gracias. ¿Y usted sabe algunos lenguajes ultra de inglés o español? Hi, this is uh, mi hongo de Watashi uh, wa Sensei Londoño des. Un poquito de italiano y uh, entiendo algunas señas del idioma también. And how do you feel when your students talk to you in English? Es la cosa más irritante. Odio cuando los muchachos piensan que pueden hablar en inglés. En la clase de español, ¿qué es eso? ¿Cómo están aprendiendo? Ellos no están aprendiendo absolutamente nada cuando hacen esas cosas. ¿Cómo uno va a hacer su trabajo si están hablando en inglés? Explícamelo. Gracias. Hi, Mr. Fuchs. Hello there. So what's your favorite part about being a history teacher? I think the part I, I love the most is taking kids, helping them get to places that they, they would never get themselves and most of society would never imagine that 14, 15, 16-year-old six, kids could Everyone's ever get to. Uh, challenging them to, to think deeply, uh, philosophically, um, and hopefully leave them different because of it. Okay, so then what's your favorite part about your students? Hollywood couldn't make up the kind of stuff that actually comes out of the mouths of kids. <laughs> okay, what's their biggest uh, They were put together when they never belonged together. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, what's your biggest pet peeve when it comes to students? I think the, the, the pet peeve has nothing to do with kids. You know, kids are kids. They're going through growth, and they end up doing interesting things. The, thing, the things that happen in um, like places like Austria with, uh, and Bosnia and stuff like that. And yeah, I feel like... My, my pet peeves are, are things that have nothing to do with the kids. The, the state intervention, the mindless bureaucracy, the, the stuff that sometimes takes so many hours, like lesson plans, you, you gotta think about a progression a sequence of lessons, but the way we have to do it. You know, sometimes the, the state standards, it's, it's stuff that requires hours, and my belief is that it has very little to do with kids. Do you have any hobbies outside of work? Yeah, I, my life is a food odyssey. You know from freshman advisory how I like coming into the rooms and just seeing what everybody else has for lunch. Um, exhibit A. My last trip to World Market, I picked myself up some whole roasted fried <coughs> crickets. And if you'll bear with me one more second, you'll see me eat said crickets. You want to come in for a close up? Yeah, of course. Farm raised in Texas, sustainable, high in protein, nothing better. Thanks, Mr. Fuchs. You're welcome.